Hey everybody, had some questions about using while loops to verify user input, so I figured I'd go over that real quick. Let's say that we had a um, program that's going to ask the user for some input, and we needed to verify that that input was on a list of things. Like, say we wanted it to be either A, B, or C. A, B, C, or D. We're building a, I don't know, a quiz app or something. And we need the users to choose A, B, C, or D. But if they type 3 or Mars or whatever the heck have you, you want to say, nope, you're an idiot, don't put that in, put in something else. So let's say that our, we're making an answer variable. Answer equals, and this is where we would put our input. Input, it would help if I could type. Input, and then you just put whatever you're going to prompt them. What's the answer? A, B, C, or D. And then I like to do um, forward slash in, or backslash in, I forget which one it's called, but anyway. Slash in to put, do a new line. So, and then we have, they're going to put their answer in. And we know their answer could be A, B, C, or D, which is what we want, but their answer could also be some random gibberish because users are idiots. So, how do we check that? Well, what we have to do, there's two main ways to check that. You can use a recursive function, which is the elegant way and the way that you will eventually do and I want you to do it later, but while we're still learning the syntax, a while loop works fine. And I mean, that's perfectly fine. So, what you would do is do while, and then you put in your condition. While answer is a not equal to A, and answer is not equal to B, and answer is not equal to C, oops, and answer is not equal to D. So while those things, oops, it would help if I put these in quotes. So while all of these things are not true, because we're using and statements, so while one of these things, while all of these things are not true, basically, we want to simply ask again. Answer equals input, what's the answer? We could update this to make it a little bit more clear. Please input A, B, C, or D. So while that's um, not true, in other words, while the answer is not one of those, it's going to just continually loop through here and try and set the answer variable again. As soon as the user sets it to A, B, C, or D, this is no longer true and it'll continue on. So print your choice and then answer. So let's run this and see if this works. Control Option R, run, nope, I don't want to run main, I want to run pasta. There it is. So what's the answer, A, B, C, or D? If I pick A, works fine, your choice A. Let's run it again and pick six. Nope, doesn't work, G. Mars, yo mama, none of those work, but as soon as I pick something that is on the list, it works. So this is using a, how you can use a while loop to basically say, while the answer is not on our list, ask for the answer again. Continue asking for the answer. It will never break out of this loop until the user puts in an answer that is acceptable. Now, as you get more and more answers, so let's say that we had a list of 100 possible inputs, this right here, this um, syntax, would be unmaintainable because you would have this giant list of inputs. What you would end up doing is creating a list, but we haven't gotten there yet, and you would just check if it's inside of that list. That's a, an easier way to do that, but we're not concerned about that for now. This is how you can do this, um, how you can verify your answers. If you want to learn about recursive functions, um, let me know and I can make a, a video on that. But since we haven't learned about functions yet in function syntax, I didn't want to take anybody's time or over overwhelm anybody with it. So let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.